joke. Well, Dr. Hoffman. Have, have all visiting hours started yet? I had hoped to see Dr. Beavers before he started his morning rounds. Tell me, tell me, how's your cousin? Tom Jennings. Did he regain consciousness? Yes, he did. I'm glad. Have the police spoken to him? No. Did he tell you what happened? Yes, he told me. It was an animal that attacked him? Joe, I'm sorry, but, but we're all concerned about him. If, if it isn't an animal, then the police should be involved. Yes, it should be. But they won't be. Ever. Well, why not? Because he's dead. Joe, I'm sorry. Poor Tom. I telephoned the hospital last night and they said he was better. He was last night. Well, what happened? He died. That's what happened. He just died. Joe. Joe, Joe, what's wrong with you? Nothing. Joe. Don't touch me. Joe, let me call your doctor for you. No, don't do that. But you aren't well. I'm, I'm upset, that's all. Well, there is medication for that too, you know. If you're as guilty as I am, it wouldn't help. Joe, it's, it, it's not your fault. You couldn't help it. <laughs> that's right. Let, let me call Maggie. No. Why not? Because she doesn't know yet. Well, you've got to tell her. Yeah, I know I do, but I, I just keep... I just keep putting it off. She, uh... She, want, she once went with Tom before she went with me. You didn't know that, did you? Well, it was nothing serious, but... They always liked each other a lot. But... But she'll find out, Joe, and... And she'll be upset if she doesn't hear it from you. Yeah, I, I guess she will. Should I go to the police, Tom? What good would it do now? What would I say? That I let Angelique into your hospital room? Last night? Was it only last night? Those dogs. No, I won't go to her. Not tonight. I won't go to her. How could I, Tom? Knowing that she put you there. At the grave. Just take a look. Who is it? Well, Barnabas, let's get out of here, please. Let's come back later. Huh? Come back later. We'll be gone. It's Joe Haskell. Yes, I think it is. I'll get rid of him. Oh. No. I'm not going. I'm not. I've, I've been looking for you. Why? What's well, happened? Something else happened? No. No, nothing's happened. I... I was worried about you. And don't worry about me. Well, I... I've been worried ever since this Look, morning. Look, Dr. Hoffman, I can take care of myself. Yes, I... I, I know you can, but... But I've been worried. I, I went to your house and to Maggie's. Why'd you do that? Well, I, I know how, how depressed you are. If I am... I'm the only one that can do anything about it. Well, that's not true. You won't help yourself being in this graveyard. The storm coming up. I, I, I wish you would come to Collinwood with me. No, thanks. I bet you haven't eaten at all today. A Mrs. Johnson has saved dinner for me. And there's enough for you. And I'm, I'm sure 
Carolyn and Vicky would be delighted to see you. I'm sorry, I don't understand why you don't want to be with Maggie, but... I guess nobody knows that. But, but don't punish yourself any more than you have. It's, it, it's dangerous to be out here. Dangerous? How? Well, I told you, you're, you're not in any condition. <laughs> Please uh, accept the help of a friendly doctor. He's not gonna leave, Barnabas. This is crazy. He has to. Well, what's she doing? What's she telling him? She's not telling him what you told me, is she? Of course not. Hey, wait, they're moving. I knew she'd think of something. No, please. No. Let them get out of sight at least. We're not robbing a grave, Willie. We're dealing with an enemy. An enemy I know only too well. Come. Somebody comes. Stop. No, start, Willie. Now. Start. I, I, I hate the sound of the of the dogs. Come, Joe. We're almost there. I'm not. I'm not going to come, Doctor. No, no. But it's all settled. I can't go. Not, not tonight. Joe. Joe, you're not going back to the grave? No. Well, well then where are you going? Oh, I, I have no right asking you that. Sorry. No, you don't. I'm going somewhere I have to go. You're, you're going back to the, to the cemetery? No. Joe, you can't go back. I'm not going there, I swear. Now leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Joe. Joe. Now before you open it, give me the mallet. Now open the coffin. Gone. We're too late. He's gone. Who is it? Who's there? Who are you? What do you want here? I asked what you want here. Answer me. Oh, I, I know who you are. What's the matter with your neck? Nothing. You better take it easy. You look kind of weak. Oh, it's just, just stiff. It's a stiff neck, that's all.
I'm, I'm all right. All right? Well, how, how can you, you say you're all right when I, I found you lying unconscious on the floor? I, what happened? I fainted. You fainted? From what? Too much work, I guess. Well, you, Julie, you better take it easy. I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I, I'll go back to Collinwood and go to bed. Well, that's a good idea. I mean, you know, Barnabas wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Willie. Huh? Willie, I'd, I'd appreciate it if, if you didn't say anything to Barnabas about this. Well, why, why don't you want me to say anything to him? Well, he'll only start worrying about me. Promise me, promise me you won't oh, say anything. Oh, sure, Julie, sure. Okay, if that's the way you want it. Hey, listen, Julie, maybe I'd better walk you back to Collinwood, huh? Yeah. No, I'll... I'll be all right. Believe me. Okay, Julia. You take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Sorry to disturb you, Dr. Houghton, but uh, Mr. Collins is downstairs. Barnabas Collins. I told you I didn't want to see any visitors today. Well, I told him that, and he seemed very upset. I'm sorry. He'll just have to wait until I'm feeling better. Well, he gave me this note, and he wanted me to give it to you. He said that he'd appreciate uh, your giving him an answer as soon as possible. Thank you, Mrs. Johnson. Go on, Willie. Tell him that. Julia, are you sure there isn't something else you want to tell me? Well, you wouldn't want me to call Miss Stoddard in here, would you? Okay, Julia. Okay. I'm going. and come to me now. You will know the way, Julia. I am waiting. where you are. Yes, very sure. You know now you must come to me here yes. every night yes, when I, I call to you. You will tell no one. I understand. Good. You will go back to Collinwood now. I will stay here if you want me to. No. If you're gone too long, it might arouse suspicion.
Julia. Barnabas, I, I didn't know you were here. I thought you were too sick to go out. I... I just went out to get some air. You mean just outside? Yes. Well, I just came in a minute ago. I didn't see you there. Well, must have come from the other direction. Well, if I had seen you outside in the open, but you must have come through the woods. Barnabas, I'm very tired. I have to go to bed. Julia, not before you answer some questions. Barnabas, not now. Yes, now. Now, you were walking in the woods, weren't you? That's ridiculous. Why would I walk in the woods alone at night? That's what I want you to tell me. Along with why were you unconscious when Willie found you last night? And why did you remain in your room today and not see me at all? And finally, why are you wearing that scarf? Well, it was cold out. I, I decided I need, needed something to keep my, my neck warm. But it isn't cold in here. Why don't you take it off? No, Barnabas. Take it off, Julie. No, Bar... The sun, it's setting. Yes. He's... His writing's rising from his grave. Don't be frightened. I am. I am. I can't help. Julia, hear my call and come to me. Come to me. hear him calling to me. You want to go, but you can't. I know. I know. I, I must resist him. I know. Julia. 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 Julia! His, his voice! Try to ignore it. Julia! You cannot ignore my call. You must come to me. Now! Julia! 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 No. No. Julia. No, I, I, I've got to go to him. Look he, at me. I've got to go to him. No. I said, look at me. No. Barnabas. You're not going to go to him. You're going to stay with me. With you. Yes. Yes. Yes, I, I, I want to be with you, but, but, but for a moment I... You lost control, but you must regain it. Yes. Yes. Yes, I... I have. Are you certain? Yes. Yes, I am. Barnabas? What is it? Very close to me. Very close. I... I can sense it. Come. Sit down. Sit? Yes. Sit and be silent. Why didn't you come to me? Well, I wanted to. I... Dennings. No. Get out of the way, Julia. No, I, I can't let you destroy her. Get I, out I of can't. the way, Julia. Get no. out of the way. No, Barnabas, I won't. He's gone. 
Yes. I, I, I don't know what, what came over me. It, it was, it was the sight of him. The, the sight of him. He's gone now and my one chance to destroy him. Yes. It will be difficult from now on. We will be more cautious. I know. I'm, I'm sorry, Barnabas. So am I. Listen. The howling, the howling of the dogs. He's out there somewhere. I know. I think I see something out there. Yes, it's, it's Jennings. He's out there waiting for you. Julia. Julia! So many of my ancestors, and this is where they will want to bury me. I wonder if any of them were buried alive. Buried alive. To wake up in a coffin. Buried in the earth. And to still be alive. To die. Gasping for breath. Crying out. And yet no one can hear. No one can hear. What could be worse? What? I mustn't let it happen to me. I mustn't. Are you the caretaker? Why don't you answer? Why don't you say something? Thank God. Oh, you found Liz, why were you screaming? That young man. What young man? That young man standing there. He was smiling at me so strangely, he frightened me. Liz, there's no young man here. He was here. He was standing right here. He frightened me. Where did he go? It, it doesn't matter, dear. He's gone now, and we're here. But where did he go? You know... There's no need for you to be frightened anymore because we're here. You're safe with us. Am I safe? Perfectly safe. Who... Who is this man? A friend. Cassandra's brother. Cassandra? Yes, come with us, dear. Where are you taking me? Home. To Collingwood. Oh, yes. Yes, I... I want to go to Collingwood. I want to go home. Will you come along with us, then, dear? Yes. We found her and she's all right, Mrs. Johnson. Heaven. Uh, can I be of any further help, Roger, or should I go? I think not. Thank you, Nicholas. Thank you for being helpful. Of course. Uh, Good night. Good night. I, I know you, don't I? Of course you do. You're, you're Mrs. Johnson. That's right. Oh, I was so worried about you. Were you? Yes, you'll never know how worried I was. Mrs. Johnson, um, will you stay here, please? Liz, 
come with me. Come into the drawing room. Why? I want to talk to you. What do you want to talk about? Just sit down over there, dear. Now, do you know who I am? Well, of course I do. Who am I? Well, you're, you're my brother, Roger. And who are you? Oh, what an odd question. Answer it. Well, I'm your sister, Elizabeth. Roger, why are you asking me these questions? You're not going to send me back to the hospital? Well, that depends. I must first speak with Dr. Hoffman. Oh, don't send me back to that hospital, Roger. You can't send me back there. You can't. I don't want it to die there. I want it to happen here. Liz, you're not going to die. Get that idea out of your head. I, 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 I know I'm not going to die. Not, not really. Of course you're not. But you all think I'm dead. All of you. Why would we think you're dead if you're not? You will. You will, and you'll bury me. You'll bury me alive. I, I know it's going to happen. I must do everything I can to stop it. Oh, Roger, I've got to have your help. Will you please help me? Of course I will help you. You mean that? You promise? I promise I will do everything I can to help you. And I want you to promise to do something for me. What? I have to do something now. Will you wait here for me? Where are you going? It'll only take a moment. Just, just sit quietly until I get back. Good. Mrs. Johnson, I'm going to get my car. I'm driving Mrs. Stoddard back to Wincliffe. Oh, does she have to go back there? Yes, I'm afraid she does. For a moment, I thought she was rational. Then all of a sudden she became irrational. I'm afraid she's still very troubled. Roger lied to me. He's taking me back to Wincliffe. I, I've got to stop him. Somehow, I've got to. Stay with her. This is oh, Dr. Hoffman. You're here. Yes, but... Roger's going to send me back to Wincliffe. You've got to talk to me. You've got to stop him. You're the only one who can. Dr. Hoffman, will you stay here a moment? I have to go to the study to make a phone call. Of course. Oh, Dr. Hoffman, please don't let Roger send me back to that hospital. I don't need to go back. I'm sane. I'm perfectly sane. You must believe that. Mrs. Stoddard. Talk to me. I'll show you that I'm a sane. I'll prove it to you. Ask me anything, anything at all. Well? What, what's the matter? The dogs, the, the howling of the dogs. What about it? He's calling to me. He wants me to come to him. He wants me to come to him. I, I must. No, no. Please, you must stay here, Dr. Hoffman. I must. Please, please don't go. You're my only hope. Me. I have to. Well, what, what is this place? Whose coffin is this? Is it mine? No. No, it, it has nothing to do with you. Now get out of here. But you said you talked to me. You said you talked to Roger. No, I can't do anything now. Just get out of here. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. Get out.
called to me. Why won't you appear to me? Where are you? I am here, Julia. <laughs> 